Well, isn't it beautiful? No, not quite, but that's our Nitra. Welcome back to the campaign to remove Hungary. You'll all be pleased to know that there is no Hungary on the map, but as long as the Hungarian culture exists, Hungary could always come back, so we got to be careful. We've got to systematically purge all traces of goulash from the map. And as we can see, Austria actually beat us to the punch. They took care of all the Hungarians over in Udenburg. But we have some more of our own to remove. We have been infiltrating Pest Buden, Solnik, and the other one that I won't be able to pronounce either. And we're purging all the Hungarians around there at cost of all of our diplo power. But that's okay. It's a worthy cause. And we're going to continue going on next. Hungary will always live on in a timeline, if you can call that living. Now the real barrier to entry on this campaign is the Ottoman Empire. They hold four Hungarian provinces and they are enormous and scary, still growing, hostile towards us, desire every single piece of our... Ooh. Well, every single piece of our heartland. And they've allied, you know, the second biggest, strongest power to the east. No, not that Slovakians are Eastern European, no, no, let's, let's not go down that route, shall we? So we were robbed of our subject over in Croatia, so we just took the land for ourselves, not even sure if it's worth fully coring, since the Ottomans are bound to come over here and just rip it from our clutches. I would, after all, have to make it into a state, and I'm not sure we're going down that path. I just don't know. Okay, now I do know. Alright, we're doing it. We're doing it. Not like many people are going to mind us tearing into the Ottoman Empire to uh, take their lands away. So, what's up with institutions? Colonialism is uh, a bit away from us, but we're nowhere near attacking, so there's no point rushing towards it. Where even are we getting the uh, colonialism? Ah, that's right, I turbo-developed our gold mine because gold was needed, and it's spreading out from there. I'm also rolling in money, uh, the aristocrats are not very happy, but if I know my balancing, and I know my balancing, it's going to be fine unless I get some other advancement. Uh, the burghers could do with showing their respect. Ah, uh, we'll just uh, take the... well, no, they already don't like me, perhaps we shouldn't push that one any further. I might just wait for them to uh, be a bit happier. Is what a lesser man would say. Give me the money. So, limiting factors here. Jake, your uh, microphone is still on DDR settings. I found that odd. I thought I'd switched you out earlier. Oh! Well, I had switched it over, but not fully, it seems. Well, damn. Hopefully, that's a lot better. Nietzsche should be the only one to eliminate Hungary. Nitra should kill Austria and the Ottoman for their insolence. Well, I was getting around to that. The fact that Udenburg is held by Austrians and turned Austrian doesn't sit right with me, because there's always this huge benefit to uh, returning things back to original culture, a big, ben uh, big bonus towards that. So we can't trust the Austrians to keep the Hungarians under boot, so we will have to rip it away from them. Unfortunately, um... Yeah, aggressive expansion within German heartlands is through the roof, so we'll have to go somewhere else. Somewhere like, uh, hmm, er, yeah, we have problems there, don't we? It is an idea to infiltrate around here, but I want Muscovy and Ottomans to touch. That way they'll know of each other as horrors. Well, all I'm going to do is mothball all these forts, don't even know why I'm paying them, it's not like we have much revolt risk around here. Slavonia and Maros? Where's my army? Oh, they're off doing fun things. Well, we'll unpause and just carry on. Not like those uh, many thousands of enemies are going to pop up in my lands and occupy my provinces, is it? Well, if they do, I'll be ready for them. And they'll be weeping. Now, the trouble with being someone who's bordered by the Ottomans in the south and the HRE elsewhere is it doesn't give you a lot of expansion opportunities. Wherever you do expand will probably be in the HRE, and people are going to hate you for it. I still have plans to take Prague, and we will, but uh, it's going to be extremely expensive in terms of aggressive expansion to do so. 
So I need to have as much improved relations as possible. You can get a good chunk of that from prestige. I want a lot of prestige. Not to the point where I'm going to stop demanding perfection, but I still want it. Uh, the province of Ratabor I could not care less about. It is filthy Silesian, as opposed to glorious Czech. Czech, Slovak, it's a match made in heaven. Ugh. Uh, okay, that's just with Verden. Not a problem, since, well, Verden is currently getting crushed. If anything, it works my favour for Bohemia to get some pretty crappy allies already in war with. I hope we fix that. Jake, do I hear some playing tall insanity from you? Oh, that reminds me. I was in my head thinking it's high time we built a whole load of churches in our land for that playing tall that we're going to do. Churches or... Uh workshops, whichever give us the more moolah. Marketplaces certainly will not. And uh, barracks is certainly going to be good in our turbo-developed province there. A regimental camp would be great with that force limit, which we are already doing pretty well in, so we don't have to worry about that. It's the churches, though. It's a great long-term investment. The question is, between the two, which is better? Well, I'm seeing nothing but uh, churches around here. Oh, let's just erect them all. Can't go wrong with some good churches. Keeps the local populace in check. How long's the session been on, Jake? A few minutes. Don't you worry, girly. I might worry at this low speed. Come on, we got uh, Verdens to bring down the culture, you even. Anavarian, right? No. Folly. No, oh, the kiss and kiss. Well, you know, I'm rolling in admin points, so why not just boost that right up? While I think about what I'm doing with all of my uh, spy network on the Ottomans here, it was probably the long lines of getting my uh, claims in there. Otherwise, though, we're here to make it clear that we are helping the good fight. Oh my. I actually don't want to have to actually fight here, but... Well, if you insist... Oh, right. Kind of forgot about that one, didn't I? Right here is the center of Reformation in Prague. I don't like that. I kind of like being Catholic, so probably going to enjoy a whole load of Protestantism for a while now. Because switching would make my only two allies go against me. And it's not like I want to team up with the despicable Bohemians. Protestantism entrenched over in, in France? I'm sure if you say so. All I'm seeing is uh, Protestantism over with the Densky Evre. If someone was asking about the music, that was from... Yeah, I have no idea because I just lost it. But I think that was either CK2 or Europe Universalis Rome. So Brandenburg is coming over here contributing tons of... Uh, tons of attrition, just like I asked him to. But it makes us look like we've actually pulled our weight here. So lads, we can get back home. We don't want the Croats rising up in Slavonia. Don't know how I have access with you. Conditional access because you give it to Brandenburg. I'm not using that as a risk to get my own army trapped. But I will hop over to Maros so that they don't revolt against me. And then all will be well. Not that there's really much reason to be paying my units, but we'll wait until we're further away from the enemy. And all was well. I love this whole rolling and money thing. Getting the full Slovak experience. That means that things will probably be kind of relaxed for a while. And war reparations. 77 ducats of which we get 15. Now we're talking. So Memengren is offering us an alliance, which is probably something I should look into, but nah. we got plenty. A staggering two of our five diplomatic relations have been used up. 
In all honesty, it is Boeria that I'm looking to stamp down on next. After Prague has fallen, of course. Um, it'll keep Austria pinned down a bit. Austria hate me all... Oh! They don't hate me quite so much anymore now, do they? Might be able to get that alliance back and use the powers to crush down on the auto scum. On the other hand, if they do... Uh, if the Ottomans declare on Austria and I join in, well, uh, I don't think things would go so hot. But if they declared war on me, then things would be just great. Well, couldn't hurt to marry the scum. Brings us dangerously close to an alliance. In fact, if it weren't for the terrifying lack of trust, everything would be good. Alternatively, I could build up a larger army, which might be a bit better. What are we, 11, 10... Alright, our composition is going to be 10, 4, 1. Beautiful. That'll be enough to make Austria think, hey, Nitra is a great guy, despite the time that they sold me out to the Ottomans. So, I'm gonna look forward to that. Again, 52 staggering ducats. And the most important thing there, Brandenburg owes us favours. Favours galore. So they should really be able to help us out when it comes to war. Uh, they want the marriage as well, of course. And once we have a little bit of a stronger army, Austria will be begging for that uh, alliance. Jake, Empire Simulation Sunday come early this week. How's your current relationship with Poland? Ah, all's good with the Poles. They might really want our land, but they don't want it that much. There we go. Austria comes begging to us for an alliance. Oh, sure, we could uh, help you out here. Now, it comes to smashing down on the Ottomans, though. Poland would want land. Austria... Uh, let's see. I'd have to make way for 318 reasons. Uh, which we could manage. Yeah, if they weren't horribly in debt, which I could cover, or had a truce with them, which will run out soon enough, I can pull in the Austrians. The Brandenburg is a bit different, it's a distant war, and I'd need much better trust to bring them in, I feel. Huh. Only if I offer you land, huh? Well, Brandenburg, I might as well boost your trust just a bit. I forget how much trust weighs into this. I think it's one per trust, yeah. But your attitude towards the Ottomans is uh, dangerously not unfriendly. Which is a roundabout way of saying friendly towards the Ottomans. Why? Ottomans see Poland and France as enemies, so why? Don't even think I want to know. The Ottomans have made someone to break their alliance to the Mamluks, so they're going to go crushing down on them, which is another way of saying not my problem. The aristocratic coup, however, is my problem. I better keep an eye on that in about five years or so if this hasn't gone away. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Jake, would you become a great power if you took the institution? Nitra have 248 development, I'd have to surpass England, so I still need a few provinces or a lot more development in my own existing provinces to get that far. Barracks and church already. It's kind of tempting to build a marketplace, because our trade value just from development is pretty decent. Pretty damn decent. There's no real putting a number on what that's worth. Probably not the Ooh, shebang. At least I can go all oligarchic. Horny Luzis, they need our help. Where is even Horny Luzis? And I am really not a fan of you right now, Bohemia. You're going to make all the Bohemian lands really revolting. I'm not like you haven't already. Intolerance is pretty high. Probably because my legitimacy is tanking. I did scorn our woman, but uh, that'll be what it comes down to. It's okay, I have a plan for that. And that plan revolves around Morik and Zabowski dying. 
as many of mine do. Yeah. Go do one Bohemia. Ah, indeed all is well. Austria will make tons of money, so it won't be any big deal to get them out of this situation. The trouble is, can I really crush the Ottomans between the three of us? I guess Litauen gets involved as well. And although they're not the Emperor, the Austrians can still hammer pretty hard. We're talking 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, I can hit up to 70, 80, 90, 120k perhaps? What are the Ottomans boasting? And this is, of course, not counting on Muscovy, who, yeah, they love the Ottomans. As long as Muscovy ugh, are part of that, yeah, it's troublesome to be striking down on them. But if the Ottomans go for either of us, I'm ready to defend. Jake, I've watched Tuesday's Dev Clash and loved Johan went, I think all Indian players should unite and get Jake down. Make sure he stays down. I mean, he was sympathetic all the rest. Yeah, Joanne really wants to see me get crushed, and to be honest, it's most likely going to happen. The Ital uh, Indian triumvirate is just too much. Bengal, uh, not Bengal. Bachmanes and Vijayanagar are working together with the Starnan in Gujarat. Th that's already most of India. They cleaved one of my allies in half immediately whilst I was crushing Delhi, and then they carved me off away from Delhi. So although I haven't lost anything, I am diplomatically isolated and uh, likely to die. But I have no intentions of uh, getting annexed, so I'll work something out. Unlike the Mamluks who have failed to work anything out, they seem pretty alone against the Ottoman onslaught. If you get crushed, you can move to the America. I don't want to get crushed, though. Who would want that? Although being in the Americas doesn't sound like too much of a bad thing. Man, being Nitrin is, uh, is a tricky one. Don't mind that extra stability though, even if it does mean... Well, you know. Platinate and I really got off on the wrong foot, didn't we? But I should be getting better relations with those that are likely to coalition me once everything goes down. And things will be going down. It can be real slow going through the HRE. Maybe I should look for a new aggressive expansion. What did I call it? Back when I used to say take... Uh, ooh. Oh, we certainly do have priorities. I don't want to spend 200 admin power on getting a cardinal. Catching. Already focusing on that. Is that woman still scorned? Will be for another half year. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. The queen is none too happy about you. Jeez. Get a hobby. My legitimacy is a dire suffering for it, then. She even put poison in my uh, best general's ear. Who's the emperor? Last I checked, it was the Palatinate. It's soon going to be Saxony. I hope that Protestantism doesn't spread too far. I have every intention of winning the Catholic side for the religious war. Every intention. Just like I have every intention of watching the Croatlands turn Sunni, that's not good either. Agreed, the economy is doing laughably well despite what she may be saying. Ha ha ha. Of course, what have we got? An aristocratic and influence. I need something else, and I think it's going to be defensive so we can take on the Ottomans. Otherwise, we're in some hot water. Administrative is tempting. It's not something I take nearly often enough. I'm not sure if it's tempting enough, though. It's a sad state of affairs when you stay Catholic just to keep your Catholic friends. That's not how I like to roll. But with Nitra, we have to bear in mind how to survive. 
And I guess on the flip side, it is kind of nice being able to milk those papal points. Alright, Ravensburg like me plenty, so... Make sure the Pope aligns with our interests. Bohemia has some friends, but I'm sure not all of them will help him in his time of need. Besides, I can always call in the, uh, the Poles for land, because there is one province that they want, and that's all they're going to need. And everybody's hating these guys. Turda. Do I even care about Turda? It's got low autonomy, but it produces me all the salt I could need. Uh, the nobility won't like me if I say no, so there you go, nobility. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, that's a point, isn't it? That's going to make the nobility none too happy. Yeah, in fact, they're going to be taking over my land. Interesting. Where else are you? Just there. And there. And there. Okay. High manpower provinces. I don't even want them over in Turda, but I don't want the nobility uh, feeling like I pissed in their cornflakes here. Well, I've got an idea. How about uh, they give me all their military power? Yeah. And all the levies. Oh, I don't need those levies. That's the thing. 50 50 on Turda? I mean, there's an army that would get wiped out if they spawned. You know what, I, I could just uh, increase my spending and be alright, but I, I like to live dangerously. See, they were fine. Just had to have a little faith. With enough faith, luck will come your way too. How about some vanity forts so the cash doesn't become a crotch, Jake? No, we have forts exactly where we need them. Granted, the capital could certainly do with one as well. It would help save Spiss, too. Alright, I'm believing in it. Sanity Fort it is. Highlands are none too shabby to be defending anyway. Although Bohemians wanting to rise up? That's not very good. Particularly in Airs, which is also not good. Must be all that... Uh, all that wrong religion stuff that's going on. Oh yeah, all the lands that I gave to the nobility are now horribly up in arms. Well, it's no big deal, because the nobility uh, has it, the manpower won't be affected by this. And then I can just go blip, blop, and some province that looks like Beetlejuice. There we go. You got everything under control. Can't even imagine why you would think otherwise. Building forts, what heresy is as well. It can't be denied, I have more uh, money than I know what to do with. I have more stability than I know what to do with. Prove legitimacy, that shouldn't be too hard. All we need is for our uh, ruler to die. And for our, well, we have no heir. Hmm, could be, uh, could be a limitation. Wonder what happens with this mission if you flip to a republic. Well, you know what, you're 62 and bound to die soon anyway. I might as well enjoy being at 3 stability and then go for good old oligarchic. Ah, oh, the terrible kind of, uh, of governance there. And we don't even have admin republic available to us. Man, oligarchic is so bad. Well, let's enjoy it anyway. Enjoy having 50 Republican tradition, which uh, is going to make this a bit expensive. It's going to make me wonder if it's even worth boosting up, actually. But the unrest is pretty low here. Well, what's life without a bit of adminocide? Ouch. Wow, it works! 